Chemical tank trailers are built to ensure that a potentially harmful cargo arrives safely. Their design is tightly regulated because safety is in everyone's best interests. They build the chemical tank from scratch. They start with a big sheet of heavy-duty stainless steel. Pressurized rollers curl it into a cylinder that will become half of the tank's inner vessel. Using a crane, they transfer the 20-foot-long rounded section to a welding station. Here, an operator controls a semi-automatic welder with a joystick. The welder joins the two sides of the sheet to complete the cylinder. They bring two cylinders together to form a 40-foot-long inner vessel. This seam is near the midpoint. It will be subject to significant bending stress in transport. It's critical that this weld is perfect. The team caps the end with metal discs known as heads. They tack weld the heads to the vessel first and assure that the fit is exact. Then, a semi-automatic welder does a permanent weld. Next, they weld three long half pipes along the bottom. The three pipes serve as a heating panel, keeping the chemical cargo in a liquid state. This is important because when some chemicals solidify, their purity is compromised. The team slides the first of many metal rings onto the tank and clamps each ring to the shell. A worker does the initial tack welds. Then, a semi-automatic welder makes the full welds. After attaching a steel framework to the bottom, a crane transfers the inner vessel to the trailer. A worker tucks insulation between the vessel and the trailer. He secures the tank to the trailer with intermittent welds known as stitch welds. Another member of the team wraps strips of rigid foam around the steel vessel. He spaces the foam evenly apart and pulls them tightly against the vessel with metal strapping. This creates compartments for fiberglass insulation. He tucks the insulation into the spaces, blanketing the vessel so the chemical freight will stay warm and fluid. The team now builds the outer shell. They pull stainless steel sheets around the inner vessel using thick nylon ties. A worker welds the sheets in place, completing the outer shell. Once a manhole has been installed at the top, the crew builds a metal platform around it. This platform allows a person to access the manhole without slipping or denting the outer shell of the tank. A worker attaches a ladder to the tank. It will be used for accessing the manhole. Another member of the team connects LED taillights and inserts them in light boxes at the back of the trailer. It takes about five days to build a chemical tank trailer. They last for 30 years or more, so this trailer should be good for the long haul.